Hey you guys, welcome back. All right, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to import sticker files and PNGs into your GoodNotes app on your iPad using a bunch of different methods that you might come run into like GoodNotes files, PNG files, PNG sheets. So let's go ahead and jump in. Okay, so let's say you purchased a file from Etsy and we're gonna be doing this all on the iPad. We're not gonna use the MacBook or anything like that. So you go over to Etsy, I'm gonna go to my personal one, and then you're gonna hit your drop down here, purchases and reviews. And then I purchased this set this morning. Um, this is from Small World Digitals. So I'm just gonna hit this download files option here. And you'll see that this kit comes with two GoodNotes files and a zip file. So we're gonna go ahead and just download all three authorize and then up here on the top right you see that little bouncing arrow that's showing you that the file is downloaded so we're going to get all three of those done done all right so i'm going to show you two different ways to get your files into good notes first would be to go into your files app on your ipad now there's an option here under favorites for downloads if you either don't have this listed here or it's just not set that way you can go to locations, iCloud Drive, and downloads will be right there too. So we've got our zip file plus our two GoodNotes files. We're going to tap the first GoodNotes file. And then this up arrow on the top right, we're going to tap that. And then we're going to hit GoodNotes. It's going to ask you, okay, where do you want to put this? Now, I have an actual Small World Digitals folder in my GoodNotes. So I'm going to navigate to that by hitting location shops, small world digitals, and then import to small world digitals. So that's gonna open up our GoodNotes file here. And then it's two pages, it's gorgeous, and I can't wait to use it, but we know this is a two-parter. So rather than going back to files, what we can do is hit plus import. Now I'm doing this while I'm in the um, first GoodNotes file because it's going to give me the option to just add it to the end of this one, which is what I want to do. So I'm just going to, I'm obviously in downloads. If you're not, you can navigate there by going to your cloud drive downloads. I'm going to tap the second one and it is automatically going to pull it in. So now we have a four page GoodNotes file instead of two two page files. Now you can import files from the main screen by just hitting this plus sign and going to import, but I wanted to show you how to do it from files too. So now you know both ways. Okay, so let's say that you're um, browsing on the web or in a Facebook group or something and you see a download link for say a freebie from Google Drive. This process pretty much works the same if it's Google Drive, OneDrive, Dropbox, I personally use Google Drive, so that's what I'm gonna show you how to use. So I sent myself a file in Messenger, which is just a direct link, which I will tap. Now, the thing to remember if you're doing this via Facebook, you cannot just hit this download thing right here because Facebook's not gonna know what to do with that. You have to hit this up arrow on the bottom, open in Safari, and that's gonna take you to Drive in Safari. And then you'll see it says unsupported file type because GoodNotes files are proprietary files. But you can hit these three dots on the side here, open in, it'll do its thing. And then you tell it GoodNotes. And it's gonna say, again, where do you wanna open this to? And I'm just gonna do it from my main documents. Opens right up, super easy. So those are the ways that you would go about getting a GoodNotes file into GoodNotes. Now, PNG files are a little more tedious, not gonna lie, <laughs> however, but there's a way with um, the iPad that you can make it a little bit quicker of a process. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna drag this to make a fresh page in the Small World Digitals file. Now you remember in files, we downloaded that PNG zip all right with the ipad as of the filming of this video all you have to do is touch it and it will automatically unzip so then you can touch the file to open it and here are all your png images now you can keep them here 
um, and just pull them in as needed. Or you could um, move them to another spot on your drive. So if we wanted to do that, we would hit select, touch, and then come down here to move. So I have a digital planning folder here where I keep my files from Pink Pudge Studio, um, Scattered Planner, M Chung Digitals, the ones that I don't have slash don't need GoodNotes files for. So I could just tap um, digital planning and then put it in there. I'm not going to do that because obviously I just installed the GoodNotes file, but that's another way you can do it. But to get them into your planner, super easy here. You're just going to drag slowly from the bottom. If you drag quickly, you're going to close the window. But then you have your GoodNotes here. You're going to touch and hold, drag to split screen, and then you can slide this over to give yourself a little more real estate on either side. And then you just touch and drag. And this works with pretty much any kind of PNG uh, set that I have ever run into. The only thing with doing it this way that's kind of a pain in the butt is, and this is a good notes thing, this isn't an Apple thing, but watch, I'm going to pull the same sticker in twice. Okay, we have this one. I'm going to drag it right to the middle, right? I'm going to touch it again, but I'm going to drag it to the edge. And then I'll drag it to down here. And then I'll maybe put it up there. See, it's a different size every single time. This has been a pain in the butt with GoodNotes for a long time. However, if you're not trying to make a uniform sticker sheet, it doesn't matter. You can just pull them in, do what you're going to do. So super simple. That's how I would uh, bring in PNG files. Now there's one last, one last way. This, go away. This one's not as you don't see it as much. Sometimes you will find a shop that sells um, PNG sheets. Typically, these sellers are selling these for printables, not for digital planning. It's kind of a gray area. You would want to reach out to the seller to find out exactly what's going on there. This shop is one of them. This is the Summoned Goods shop. Um, she used to be something else, but I don't remember what. So I'm just going to tap on one of these files and you'll see if I get my lasso tool, it's all one sheet. So the way that you would do this, and this is, by the way, my least favorite way to do it, is you would have to copy and then paste your file here and then crop it. And you can freehand and just pick the one that you want. I mean, it's not hard to do. But it's also not, uh, not as user friendly. So then you would have to long press, paste again, tap, crop, pick the one you want. And then typically, and this isn't always the case, but typically I find that if you download a PNG sheet like this, the um, image quality is not going to be the same as it would be if you were pulling in individual PNGs. Again, it's my suspicion that these are for printing, not for, um, you know, cropping and then making one piece of a sheet bigger. But that's the way that you would do it with those. It's not not too bad, but it's there are easier ways if you're going to go digital. So that's it, guys. That is how you would get your GoodNotes files from Etsy into GoodNotes and also your PNGs and a PNG sheet. Now, if you um, had, say, a bunch of images on your camera roll, there is one thing that I want to touch on with that. I don't have a lot in my camera roll right now because I did just do a planner cleanup. And in fact, I don't have one that's going to show you this. But I'm just going to touch um, this podcast one. You can just touch up here to pull in an image. But sometimes with good notes, if you touch it from this top bar right here, it'll pull it in with a white background. Now, this image already has a white background. It is a JPEG. So that wasn't me just being like, it did it. No, it doesn't always. Sometimes it does. If it does do that, then you have to hit the photo tool and pull it in from right here. So just a heads up. Same concept. That's how that works. Um, yeah, so that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys found it helpful. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave it in the comments. And I do want to give a special shout out to my patrons this month. You guys are 
freaking amazing. I appreciate you so much. I'm having so much fun making content for you guys and sharing content with you guys. So thank you again. Um, I, I'm blown away by y'all's support and generosity. So thank you guys so much. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.